Three on two tonight, a neighborhood crime alert to tell you about. An elderly woman is robbed by a man posing as a tree trimmer. The woman says he got away with some of her most prized possessions after he ransacked her home in the Glenshire neighborhood. That's where Andy Sirota is live tonight. Andy? And Jonathan, we're talking about things that held sentimental value, including her mother's and her great grandmother's wedding bands. And we're told this wasn't an isolated crime, that recently another homeowner says he was robbed by two men posing as cable company workers. The head of the security company that patrols the Glenshire neighborhood tells us he believes these crimes are connected. When Beverly Knowles answered the door to a man claiming he needed to inspect some tree limbs hanging over the fence in her backyard, she never imagined it would cause her so much heartache. Oh, I just shouldn't have ever opened the door. Knowles had no reason to think he wasn't the real deal. And he had old jeans on and he had work boots on and, uh, and this vest. I don't remember what his shirt looked like, but just this vest with the reflector, yellow reflective fabric on it. He had me in the back. And so she said, accompanied him to the backyard behind the garage, a spot where she couldn't see the back door. Knowles says at one point he used his walkie talkie, claiming his boss was calling him. I don't remember exactly what he said, but it wasn't anything that would have alerted me. As he was leaving some 30 minutes later. And he just tells me that he worked for the city and that he won't be there back until Monday. Fast forward an hour, Knowles notices the jewelry drawer in her bedroom had been ransacked and later discovers that four rings worth more than $6,000 were missing. Then it dawns on her that somebody else must have come in the back door and taken them while she was out back. It's just really disappointing that somebody would do that to anybody. Tonight, a City of Houston Public Works spokeswoman tells us that all field crews would be in Public Works trucks identified as Public Works trucks and that these field crews would be required to show badge identification and that they would never cut down a resident's tree without prior consent from that homeowner. Live in Southwest Houston tonight, Andy Sirota, KPRC Channel 2 News.